Hello everyone. So in the last video I posted, I did a quick overview of how to get your replay up and running. Um, I'm not too good with the voice thing, but if it helps people, I'll give it a shot. So this time around, we'll tackle uh, some other things that might arise. Um, we're going to stay out of the front end for now. We're going to work on um, backing up and some program installation. So first, since the stock Windows recovery procedure doesn't seem to uh, work the best, I just wanted to go over how to at least back up the files to the front end in case uh, something gets corrupted. You can hopefully copy it back over from your backup and get yourself situated. So now to get started here, we're going to click on the icon up there in the taskbar to get to the file explorer. And then if you're working on your EMMC, it will come up for you as a local disk. I have an MSATA installed. And I'm currently logged into my MSATA installation, so that's why my C disk, or C drive rather, is up here. But if you're working on a stock image, no MSATA, you'll want to go into your EMMC here. Now, most of these files here, you're going to want to take and copy over onto a blank USB. So we're going to want to put our window over here and then we're going to control plus the N key on the keyboard to bring up a second window. I'll snap them to each side so it's a lot easier to work with. And we're going to want to go to our flash drive here and then we can go and I would go one at a time to make life easier but we're going to want to go and copy over just about everything except Windows and the program files. Um, everything else uh, should pertain to the front end here. And you're going to want to grab all of that. And then once you grab all of those files and they are on your USB stick, you're going to either want to plug it into another PC and dump all that, um, dump all those files onto another PC or an external hard drive, or hang on to that USB stick, place it somewhere safe. That way, if you're messing with a config, or you're trying to update, you know, Project 64, and something gets corrupted, um, then you have something to refer back to. However. I would advise against just dragging and dropping updated emulator applications into the emulator directory. So this can end up breaking some of your configuration files that the front end uses, and you could get thrown a bunch of errors. I know Matt is working on getting the add emulator wizard sorted, so hopefully that comes along soon, and there will be just a few clicks to add a new standalone emulator in there. Now that we have a backup, before we get into any gaming, I would like to go over how to update your drivers. Updating at least your graphics drivers can cure some of the video problems you may have noticed that other users have been having. If you're on your stock EMMC install, you should have an icon in your system tray that will help you update your drivers. Since I'm not, I'll have to go download the driver assistance program first. So, if we go to our system tray here and right click on the graphics settings, we'll get a new window with a bunch of information. Going to support and then download graphics driver here will get us to the page to download the update utility. Let the application download, then run and install it. Now while there are utilities out there that can fetch and install drivers for PC, it's recommended that you do it this way. You update your drivers by downloading this assistant and then running the assistant to make sure you get the correct drivers. A member on the forum ended up with a BSOD after trying a third party utility and we spent quite a while trying to fix it and still came up a little short. I also ran into issues on my main PC uh, trying to use a third party driver update utility so it, it's always best to make sure that you use your stock updater and you grab the updates as we are about to here shortly. Now that the updater is installed, we can continue on to actually grabbing the drivers. I'm going to click Run here, but if you're on your original install, you would have clicked in your system tray, and then to update drivers, which you'll end up on the following web page here. After the web page checks the drivers on your replay, 
It'll show you what's up to date and what needs updated. All users should have a graphics, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth driver update. I was glancing around at all the extra info on the page here, but I would download and install one at a time. And then after rebooting, you should be all set to go in the driver department. Now that we're all backed up and up to date, in the next video, I'm looking forward to getting some Windows programs situated, as well as RetroArch, LaunchBox, and Steam. Until then, happy gaming.